Jeremy Strickland. I'm a chief of staff at Google. Um, that role has been gaining a lot of ground in terms of a lot of organizations yeah. raising the specific need for that, but not a lot of people may be familiar with with that the overall concept. Share a little bit more insight into that, the day-to-day -day responsibilities, what falls under your purview. The pace of this role is just really, really intense. So the only thing that I can equate it to is, you know, I did uh, investment banking uh, at Goldman for my internship. It's that pace, but not quite as long of the hours, but you're always on call. Um, so some of the phrases that I like to describe the chief of staff job that I think resonate with other people in this role are you're an inch deep on many projects, but you're about two miles wide. As more and more tech companies begin to grow, they start to understand and realize that the founder often is not the executive who is going to be able to kind of grow and scale the company. And so the type of value that someone like myself can bring is really, you know, kind of being that go between helping provide that operational rigor, strategic insight, um, and just kind of being able to scale that, uh, that executive. What's the path to chief of staff and beyond that? Coming out of business school, I took uh, what was basically just like a uh, managerial position at, at LinkedIn. And LinkedIn's a really great firm, but I just didn't feel that that was the right role that played to my talents. And so when I transitioned to, to Google and was thinking about, you know, did it make sense to move from like a people management position and uh, to something back to where I would be an individual contributor again? And so the only thing that I could think of that really made sense to me was this chief of staff role. And the way that I think about it is, most people in a chief of staff role, because of the pace of the role um, and just how strung out you are over all of your different projects, all of your different stakeholders, there tends to be a high burnout rate of about two to three years. So if you look at the most famous chief of staff role uh, to the president, um, I think average tenure in that job is, is, is just a little over a year. And that's just because of the high nature or the high paced and just quick nature of the role. No one reports to you, but everyone reports to you. And so I think that's a really interesting phrase to think about because while you know I'm not re directly responsible for the performance manage of everyone, I have the, what I hope is the trust of my executive. And, um, and you know, when I'm recommending something on a project, people tend to listen. Uh, and so that's a, a really great position to, to have.